We each picked some things that we really like to have on our homestead. Things that we wish we would have had from the beginning because some of these things have really made our life so much easier. And the cool thing about this stuff is they also make great Christmas gifts. So here we go. Shelly, go get your first item. You coming? Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> so this is a grow light. And the reason I chose this was because I used to try to start my seedlings on the windowsill because I was too cheap. Doesn't work. To buy a grow light, this changed my life. Like if you try to start seedlings by a window, they don't get enough light. They just plain don't and they get long and leggy. And if they start out that way, they're just not grow, gonna grow as well in the yeah. garden. And my first item here is a headlamp and not just any headlamp. A headlamp is a must for sure, but then a good quality one to me is a really big deal. This one has an adjustable beam to where you can get a long beam or you can do a wide beam and it is a rechargeable one which is really awesome so i'm not going through batteries all the time let's get the second one <laughs> my next item is this little chainsaw here this is a 12 inch bar chainsaw not only does it great for like branches and stuff but there's stuff in the garden like our asparagus that i cut down on this thing and it's so cool because it's light enough that it can be used like one-handed if I need to reach to get something. Not recommending that, but it can be done that way. If you get the chance, I got this one at a garage sale. I it kind of looks like it came off the arc. <laughs> <laughs> but it works so well and I highly recommend it. What do you got? This is one of my very favorite tools lately. I use this. It was this. my idea. Yeah, I know. I thought it was a really dumb idea at first, but it turned out great. We use this in the garden for bugs like asparagus shoots. I had some issues with asparagus beetles this year. I just put this little hose over the stock and went like this. No bugs. Before we got the Dewalt one, my dad has Makita tools. <laughs> you can just leave that on there. This battery comes <laughs> off. <laughs> Uh, my dad has Makita tools and he had a sweeper that we tried out first and that one worked really well. I used Dewalt tools so I got this one. We use it for squash bugs and just like any kind of like bug infestation you have. Rather than going out there and picking them all off and with the tweezers or your fingers or something like that, just suck these up and then you can just take this thing off here and dump them into gasoline or soap or whatever you're doing with them. And I didn't, I didn't even mention all the stuff that we're showing here. I'm going to have links for it in the description to make it really easy for you guys to find, just so you know. Shelly's picking on the big stuff. <laughs> it is a Haas wheel hoe. It absolutely transformed digging trenches in the garden so or planting things. There would be a couple different ways to do that with this Haas wheel hoe right now. The attachment that it's got on it is the sweeps and that would be for weeding, which works amazing. Cuts down so much time for weeding. If you wanted to make a deep trench, like for potatoes or whatever, these are is a set of plows that you put on there. And then for a smaller trench, just for like a little row for seeds, something like this works really well. We actually have another wheel hoe out in the garden shed. It's an old antique one that's got a little bit wider attachment on that works really well. But if I was to choose between the two, I'd definitely pick this one, right? Yeah. Because you have so much more options with the different attachments. Next on my list is a pair of winter boots. So obviously to me, having rubber boots is a given, but rubber boots, just regular ones, they get like stiff in the winter when they're cold and your feet get cold. And if your feet are uncomfortable, the rest of you is uncomfortable. And for me, this was a really big deal to get some winter boots. These are bogs. A lot of people get mucks. Either one, they're about the same. I've had both and I really like the bogs. And pretty much I just go for whatever I can find that's on sale or something, either bogs or mucks. Mine's bigger this time. This is a T-post puller, something that I waited a long time to get because I didn't want to spend the money. I spent so much time moving T-posts back and forth and trying to pull on them. This thing, super handy. It's not even that expensive. It's like 40 bucks and it has just saved me hours and hours and lots of hard work. Definitely need one of these around. What you got? This is a food mill and I use this thing literally all the time, especially during the summer when I'm making sauces and canning things. You just put whatever food you want in here and you turn this handle you can cook down apples and pour apples in here turn this and the applesauce will come out the bottom you can put raspberries in here and it will take most of the seeds out you can um oh tomatoes is the main thing i use this for it will keep out like all the peelings and seeds and you'll just get a nice thick sauce coming out the bottom ready This is sort of random, but this is a sticker gun. You'll find when you are on a homestead that it really is helpful to know which day your milk came from or which day your eggs were packaged because you wanna use the older stuff 
first. Right. And if you have like 15 gallons of milk in your fridge, which happens around here, right. and then you know which ones to use first. We used to try the whole dry erase marker, but if you're doing that on glass and there's condensation on the jar, it washes off. This is so easy. You just click it. We have to put a date on the eggs that we sell at the local store before. We were writing the date on every single egg carton, and then when we get the egg cartons back to reuse them, we'd scribble out the date and put another yeah, one on or put pathetic. a piece of tape over it. It looked really pathetic. So this net here is not to be used for fish. I use this for catching chickens. So what happened, the reason that I got one of these things, I'd never heard of it being used for chickens before. I've seen other people that use it now. But anyways, there was this one time, a whole bunch of my chickens got out, and it made me really mad and really grumpy. And actually, like her dad and brother came to help us round them up or something, yeah. I was like, I am not doing Doing this I'm going to get a net because I think that would work I think by the time I got back I think you guys had them we all had them all in by the time you got back but, but we were glad you then got the I had this net and ever since then I've been using it and it's amazing <laughs> Ready? One, two, go. Go. I can go first this time this is a milk funnel this is something that we got recently and we did a video that had it in it a couple videos I think that it was in and I just absolutely love this thing I can't talk about it enough because sorry <laughs> sorry when we first got our cow, what we did to strain the milk was we used a funnel with a filter in between, then a canning funnel on top of that, and it worked okay, but you had to go no, really slow. It. So <laughs> basically, it got the job done. And yeah. the thing is, the reason why I show this is because that's what a lot of people try to get by with, is just to get the job done. And this is not that big of an investment to get one of these things. It works really cool. All it is is this funnel here. You put the paper filter in there and then you stick this ring in there and it holds it in place. You can and literally pour a full gallon of milk and just like stand there and it takes like no time. This is a bad scissors. <laughs> no, seriously, this scissors is like heavy duty and I use it all the time. Like I even use it to trim bushes. Like that is how strong this thing is. 100% uh, we were dealing with like sweet potato plants and stuff and cut, cut those vines. <laughs> I thought you, you were did. Done. Okay, go ahead. I don't remember what I was gonna say, go ahead. <laughs> when I'm taking down my tomato plants at the end of the year, I can hour. literally, sorry, <laughs> I can literally just snip them off. This is my new friend. <laughs> this is my Instant Pot that Cody got for me last Christmas. I don't know what I did before I had this. I use this to make bone broth and rice and beans. It will cook up a huge batch of potatoes, like for mashed potatoes, in 10 minutes. So for you hubbies out there, at least for your wife, yes. she'll love you. This is how homesteading got started for us, really. For you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to visit my cousin at Polyface Farm, and at that point, I was kind of interested in homesteading. When I first heard he was going to Polyface Farm, I thought it was really weird that he was excited about being a farmer. But we went to visit him, and I'd already been kind of thinking along those lines, and my uncle then bought me You Can Farm by Joel Salatin, and that just like took me from five miles an hour to 60 miles an Rocked hour. Rocked your world. Yeah, I wanted to show off a few other books here that have really made a difference on our homestead. Keeping a Family Cow. If you're gonna have a milk cow, you've gotta have this book on hand. We've had a cow now for, I think it's like six years, and I still refer back to this book. Root Cellaring is also a really good book that yes. really helped us along in figuring out how to store stuff in our basement and in our root cellar that we've got now. The new Organic Grower by Elliot Coleman. Elliot Coleman is like the Michael Jordan of gardening. If you're at all got questions about gardening, this is the first place to start. This is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good book, Year Round Vegetable yeah. Gardener. So helpful in figuring out, she's got like charts in here to help you to figure out when to plant stuff to be able to get things year round. Where's yours? I'll get it out when I'm ready. Oh. Go ahead. This stuff is all related, so I just decided to do this at one time. First of all, Quick Connects are the best thing ever. I used to get like roaring mad. No, I'm serious. You know how all the wives take the, pickle jars? take the jars, the pickle jars to their husband to open? That's what happened here. I could not always get them. And he would be at work and I was trying to water the garden. You can put an end, one of the Quick Connects on here and you just snap that on. Same with this. This also has a quick connect on it. We've got tons of hoses because we've got lots of different places where we've got stuff to water and stuff. 
and it can just be a huge deal to have to go around twisting and untwisting stuff. And also, if you have kids who are using your hoses and stuff, which we do, this makes it so much easier for them. They're not always like, Mommy, can you come switch the hose for me? So, for those of you who have square gardens, like I do, like most people do, as opposed to <laughs> round ones, <laughs> this sprinkler is awesome. You have an adjustment here that you can adjust how far it goes back and forth, so if you have a shorter, longer garden. And then this here, make so the sprinkler is wider or not as wide. My last and most favoriteest item because I use it every day and I wouldn't want to be without it, I feel naked without it, <laughs> is my Leatherman. This one is the Sidekick. I also have the Rev. It just has a few of the basic tools on it. If you're out in the field, you got something going on with your fence, I have electric fence. You can cut the fence wires. Pliers get used for like everything. Knife to cut the hay bales open. Something that I would definitely not want to be without. One more thing, everybody in your life needs a more than farmer's hat. Hope to soon have some beanies on there and some hoodies, but for now you can get on our Etsy shop and there'll be a link for that below and get one of these more than farmer's hats. <laughs>